we were tootling down the road. I think you were like, Bree, you know, we should try to find a rock that mom can use as a sink. Yeah, like a rock that we could carve a bowl out of. Mm -hmm. Bryson picked out this rock and it's beautiful and it's gonna be our sink. We decided to go with a sink inside the outdoor shower. It was very heavy. I remember sitting in the car and the rock went into the back. It was that little <laughs> car. It went <laughs> on the back. And like, Whoa, that was a heavy one. Is he okay? <laughs> it's cutting way easier than I thought. You know, too, I was thinking if you could just cut little slivers, then you could take the hammer and probably just tap the slivers and bust them out. That circle a little bigger too. Yeah. Don't you think? But I mean, that's a good starting Just point. keep drilling down until we get a bowl. A heart-shaped bowl at that matter. Ooh, which I did not that. notice when I first picked it up. Whoa, bonus heart shape. Can I take your order, please? While building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be a part of our family for this week's adventure. There is a long, probably three foot chunk of concrete that was back by the goat pen that Bryson had dug out years ago. And we thought, wouldn't it be nice to use that as the pedestal for the sink? Repurpose it. We want to use this as the pedestal for the sink, which that's the top of the sink. Concrete form, so we can set it around it, I'm guessing like that. Setting these. Sweet. Are you raising the bar over there, babe? Uh, raising the high. rebar? Very, very high. Should we go carry our monstrosity in there? Oh yeah. Sweet. All right, here we go. All right. All right. What do you think? Like right that? I love it. So we got it over and started to sand it down to get kind of that pebbly look. We're grinding out the, the heart rock to fit the pedestal. Oh, I see. Then you can trace it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Is that it? it? Looks like more has to come out of this, like we were originally thinking. So we'll dig down deeper on that side. And then just a little bit on the side. A little bit, side. just flatten it out there. Think you can work with that? Oh, yeah. Yep. He was delicately grinding things down and getting things done. I thought, you know, let's get something bigger and better. So I got out my hammer drill. I was just chiseling away at it and pretty soon things were falling off. I wanted to stay on. What have you done? Oh, oh. Now you don't have to drill out the spot. You already got a good spot coming up. It has to be a hole here. It has to come down through here and out. Well, you'll think of something. Oh, that's the top of the sink. And I just totally ruined it. You were looking at it, trying to figure out if there was a way to fix it, but we just decided it's not fixable. No. So it's back out by the goats again. It does have a new stand on it that didn't Ooh, have before. Yeah, it's so got that's new features. <laughs> You've come up with a new idea of what to do. We're going to take some T-posts and we're going to go ahead and just jam those into the ground, cut a little top and then weld that on and then kind of place that in the spot that needs to go. And I guess that's the, the new bathroom stand. <laughs> you said too, Jared, that this got concreted in, I guess. Yep. Do river rock around it. Which is the same thing he's going to do with the shower. It's going to be river yeah. rock too. Yeah. So. Wow. Oh! <laughs> stuccoing the outdoor shower, making it look all good in there. Me and mom are about to head out with our working boots on and get stuff done. Oh, hey, what? I hadn't seen this yet. Yeah. Cool. Ooh. What's this for? Be a sink. We thought, well, why not have a sink? We got a shower and a tub. It's not the final. Dad's gonna sand it and give it a pebbly look. Let's find a shaded spot to work. Yes. 
Love the color. Love it. This is the wall I'd like to start on. This wall here, just this little section. Should we try that? Yeah, let's do it. Just trying to get the details done. Let's see, Ollie's digging a hole. Yeah. Yeah. She tried to help us. She's looking for buried treasure, and we have two accomplices. They're just cheering them on from the sideline. It's looking really good, you guys. Thank you. It brought me a stick to throw. There's only one problem. It's the size of the javelin bullet. It's huge. And he's still waiting to look at him. He doesn't mind. He's okay with that. He is a javelin. Doesn't go very far. Look at this. Guys got a little crazy when they were throwing all these rocks in here. Doing really good over there. Surprisingly harder than it looks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Par par harder than it looks. <laughs> We're real heroes out here. <clears throat> or is the word more tedious than it looks? Feeding. Pushing it out of the way. Safety thing, you know. We're well, doing super good. And when you need to wet it down, you spit on it. I have a lot of spit. I think it's nice to finally have the validation from a third party coming in from the outside saying it's hard. And this is the cool part. We can save it and reuse it. We don't have to waste anything. It really bothers Shay and I if we waste we any do. stucco. Mm -hmm. They're not kidding. <laughs> you have a little speck and they're like, oh, I think we can afford to lose a speck. <laughs> They just don't understand us, Mom. They don't. Nobody gets us. You know, I dropped some on my foot and I put it in the pile so I could put it back up on the wall. Of course you did, And sweetie. I think that's a rational behavior. We were putting some cob up and I dropped a chunk and it fell into Mom's bucket. I was so excited, it fell right in, didn't uh, fall on the ground. And, and I was she, like, Shay, give me five. And, and she does it. it. And her hand is filled with stucco and it goes all over my face. <laughs> the good news was, I'm still kind of tasting it, so it's not going to waste. <laughs> this is what we mean by too much, too, too much. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Do one more bag. One more batch. One more, One more batch. batch. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Yes. Thanks to you and, and even Bree and Jared come and help for a while too. So oh wow. Out. It's coming together. I'm so excited. Ollie is too. Ollie's always happy. He's a happy bitch. Why don't we just do this one? Huh? No, he wants the big one, not the small one, Mom. <laughs> Bottles painted up to go in those slots. I decided to go with just a little bit smaller bottle so I could just place them inside and that one too. I'll just suck all right around them, get them in there. Fixing bottles is fairly easy. I found two bottles that were smaller than the bottles that were in there, painted them up. I was able to easily slip them in there and then just stuck all around them. We're good to go. So it's pretty easy to fix broken bottles. We got our cement mixer. I know it's hard to believe we finally got it after years of doing this. <laughs> oh, it's like unwrapping a gift. This is what I was hoping for. We got ourselves solid tires, boys. That's always nice. You think we'll have to look at instructions? Give us our man card, Jared. Figure it out. You can do it. Whoa. You know what this looks like? What are the big drums? You know. <laughs> The last mixer we got was something that we rented. Uh, so we went ahead and got ourselves our own. A little bit smaller so that we can mix smaller loads. It seemed like the big one didn't really handle the bigger loads as nicely. So we can at least handle the smaller loads. It's so beautiful, you don't even want to dirty it.
Nice. Beautiful. So that's two bags? Yep. This is a manageable mixer. The other one was so big, you almost had to have two guys do it. That's really quiet. This one was like, Wah. This one's like, <laughs> Whoa, what's this, baby? Frozen you dirt. in your face? <laughs> Head in there, nothing will happen. Oh, oh, scary. Nice. How did it feel? It felt good. Butter. It felt right. You don't Not hug your dog. Have you hugged your cement mixer? You can hug your further. cement mixer today. And you'll get a kiss from the cement. Yes. Cement kisses. That noise? It's in the back. If this is what happens if you don't add uh, water first. Oh, so we muffed up? Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? This is what happened. You're so supposed to add the water as you like mix it. This is when it's dry, you have water going in. I think that's the theory. I'm not sure. We could read the instructions. We first got the new mixer all set up and put together. You know, of course, we want to try it out. And the first thing we did was say, hey, why don't we see if we can dump this into a wheelbarrow? Oh, whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Wow, what are we, ha we going to pour it in, Bri? Well, that didn't work. The wheelbarrow was just too high and the mixer too low. So let's go ahead and set it up on the deck there. So that got us up about 10 inches in the air. Still, it was just too difficult to try to get it all put together and put it up high and dump it into wheelbarrows. Beautiful, They're beautiful wow. mud. Just a little bit left. That's gonna be so easy to cob with. Ooh. That's almost nicer than when we hand mix it. So how do we get the rest out of there? So we decided to use it as a wheelbarrow. It has wheels and it's the same width. I think that means playtime's over. <laughs> Clever dog. So the T-post will be my post holding everything up. Around that, I want to put river rock. So we're going to go ahead and build kind of a river rock pedestal where we go up to the top of that. And I asked Shay if I should bedazzle it a little bit, but she said exactly what I wanted to hear. No, Mom, just leave it. Let's get this thing done. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Shay? Good. Beautiful. Mild problem with our shower. If someone happens to be out here on a ladder, they can see oh, in. Oh no. Because I'm watching dad work over here. You don't get to I see this thing happen. Don't be blocked right there. That is so cool. Top. Walls made dirt. Oh good, I want to show you something. Do you remember the plastic grocery bags that I put in? And, and then I painted them to make sure that the sun didn't break them down. And as you can see, they're just the same hardness. I did poke holes in it though. I have this one. I have one here. This also is great. I had one here, but there was a hole in it and it just poured out. So I stuck it over. You can't see that one. That was the only one that didn't work. I thought I had one more. Do you see another one anywhere? There's one in that corner. Yeah, that's the other one right there. They're just hard as a rock, just like the other ones. And you need a little fill-in, a little baggie. It's genius. Thank you, hon. Oh yeah, we gotta cut that off. <laughs> Can we just break it? I'm gonna say no. But what if we can't? break our tool first. Bryson, you better come with that tool pretty soon. Your sister's going crazy. Gosh, you're actually doing it. There we go. That's great. All right. Wow, this is looking amazing. It's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. Aren't they cute back here, Shay? Yes. Oh, perfect, aren't they? Yeah. Beautiful, Dad. Thank you, honey. Clean up on all seven. Honey, it looks so cute in here, huh? We're gonna go ahead and take down the old solar hot water tank. We've had plans in the future to build a lot larger one. We spoke of dropping, and I wish to show you what it looks when someone who's not as talented. <laughs> oh, she's the wrong shade. That's not a rock. This is solid dropping Whoa. from these rocks being placed. These pillars though, I gotta say, they look yes. really awesome. Dad did a fantastic job. I, I was just teasing. That's my favorite dad and um, I don't see a problem here. Please move along. He's my favorite dad too. He just started to drop a lot. <laughs> Thank you.
Are you done rocking and rolling? Done rocking and rolling. This looks really good, Gare. How's it going? Oh man, the chaise house. Beautiful though. It's beautiful. It's really awesome. Yeah. I think it's funny that we've just spent our whole day putting mud up and we're all dirty. And this is supposed to be a shower and a bath. The one place you're supposed to come to get clean. <laughs> ah, one step closer. The new cement mixer was awesome, but I really like it. It's nice, saves a lot of work. Yeah, being plastic like this, is it doesn't stick, it would come off of it really well. So somebody was thinking when they made that thing. That wraps up this week. Our t-shirt for the week is, have you hugged your dog today or have you hugged your cat today? So either you're a cat or a dog lover, whichever, you get options. While you're there taking a look at the t-shirt designs, make sure you look at all of them because like there's zillions of them Bree's been doing over the years. So it's a lot of fun to take a look at. Maybe one is your zinger and just is the one you like the best. And also too, there are coloring pages available on our website if you wanna download those and have the kids go ahead and color pictures of their favorite dog or favorite cat for free. If you haven't heard, you're behind the times because we're doing two weekly peaks a week, a Wednesday and a Friday. So that's a, a peakly week thing of two. Every Wednesday at six o'clock Pacific time and every Friday at six o'clock Pacific time. And then we also have a podcast that you can check out too. So make sure you get the opportunity again there. We'll see you on Friday for the latest weekly peak. Thank you very much for being a part of our little family here and all the little fun laurels and fundy wendies that we do around here. Bye. What am I filming? Anything good? Bottle. Does anyone want to do this? Thank you. Oh my. Uh... Mm -hmm. it's slightly dangerous. Only slightly. Only slightly. What is this? I don't know what that is. Don't worry about it. You're on film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Hi, Bree. Ah, what are you doing? Nothing. He's being a hero. Wow. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no falling. That's all we request. Yes. Wow, are we just really commenting on how tall you are? Hopefully not too tall that he doesn't hit his head on the branches. This is perfectly safe. What do you mean? <laughs> family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Likes the hair dryer. Funny, but he does. So I hair dry him. Oh yeah. And, uh, and then he just like- him. That's like petting. He feels good for like a week. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't usually have to wait that long, but he just feels so good about himself when he's clean. He's so cute. <laughs> he's all fine gold. Oh yeah, we're digging for gold, baby. He does have an outer layer, like an outer crust. Maybe it's a giant mirror. Right? <laughs> we made a million dollar sink, quite literally, out of a giant mirror. Right? <laughs> You know, 30 years from now, they're like, can you believe those idiots? <laughs> what did they do to this thing? They kind of, I can't believe they made a sink out of this thing. <laughs> <laughs>